Good afternoon. Some of the heat, the humidity, allowing a few downpours to develop, especially near and west of the parkway. Now, keep in mind, none of this is too terribly widespread. We do see a shower getting close to Speedwell, a downpour over Troutdale that eventually moving to the east right along Highway 221. Another downpour close to Highway 100 in western Giles County. All of this moving slowly from west to east. I would also watch out around Ferrum. You're starting to see some clouds developing. And as I pull out the wide view here and we put this into motion, you can see the wind out of the east and south southeast, allowing the clouds to really bubble along the Blue Ridge. This is something we talked about earlier today on Virginia Today, that the clouds would start up bubbling near the mountains as the air lifts up the mountains. We get a few spotty downpours near into the west of the Blue Ridge, and then eventually they start to move off toward the east. So another situation where you could drive into a downpour and five minutes later you're in sunshine, right? So 1 p.m., any spotty downpours near into the west of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Between 3 and 6 p.m., that's where we could see a few downpours near the Roanoke Valley and also moving into parts of maybe Bedford and Franklin counties. Keep in mind anything that develops today because it's so warm because it's so humid is going to have the potential to drop down a localized wind damage, maybe even some isolated flooding as well because these storms are moving pretty slowly. Even by 9 or 10 p.m. might be a shower or storm near south side that we'll have to keep an eye on after about midnight is when the chance for storms goes down. I do think though for minor league ball both in Pulaski and in Salem that things are for the most part looking good because at about 630 or 7 o'clock clock, you're going to see most of these storms off toward the east. So Pulaski at home against the K-Mets temperatures in the low to mid 80s at first pitch, low to mid 80s for the Salem Red Sox as we play host to the Frederick Keys. Tonight we're in the mid to upper 60s, pretty typical for this time of year, warm and humid and a little bit of patchy fog early tomorrow morning. Then the heat sticking with us through tomorrow. Mid to upper 80s, near 90 in Roanoke and Lynchburg and Southside, 88 in the NRV, 78 in places like Hot Springs, but Clifton Forge, uh, Covington, you're seeing temperatures tomorrow in the middle to upper 80s as well. Tracking this front, though, by tomorrow, that is going to stay off toward the east, really hugging the coast, taking a vacation down there. But even by Saturday, warm and humid enough for a few hit or miss storms. This front keeping the widespread rain off toward the east, so for this weekend, we're certainly hot. We're certainly Certainly humid temperatures in the low to mid 90s. You factor in the humidity may feel a little bit hotter than that, but each day about a 20% chance of a stray shower or storm again, typical summertime. A lot of you have been voicing to us on Facebook, though, that you need more rain. You might just get that by next week. High pressure off toward the east, low pressure to the south. Wind direction out of both of those systems, bringing in a steady stream of moisture out of the Gulf. What that means for us is rounds of scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday through at least Wednesday. So is it going to rain the entire time? Not exactly, but you will at least see the better chance of showers and storms after the weekend. So upper 80s near 90 tomorrow. Again, low to mid 90s. 90s this weekend, lows at night in the mid to upper 60s. You look ahead to next week, temperatures near 90 on Monday. We're in the 80s Tuesday and Wednesday. And again, you start to see that better chance for scattered showers and storms unfolding. Again, even today, we have that chance for showers and storms, a couple of which could be on the strong side. So make sure you have the Storm Team 10 app downloaded on your